Can, can everyone hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Uh, is music good? I gotta know. <laughs> um, we are playing, hi Jeb. Uh, we are playing What Remains of Edith, Edith Finch. I'm good Jeb. Um, uh, and I've been wanting to play this game for a really long time. I've seen so many playthroughs and it's so emotional. I finally got to actually get it. Great, yay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. Okay. Okay. For those who don't know, this game is... Chad, have you ever seen this game before? Or is this your, like, first time? We also can turn down the sound effects because those are really loud. <laughs> yeah, 
damn it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go through some stuff today. Is my sound effect, uh, is, the, is the sound good now? for me. Okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Bag. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Very, it's a little laggy. <laughs> this makes it my computer. Yes, it is a very nice house. It it, it looks like uh the house from um uh the neighbor game. I did I, I forgot the name. Uh, this one's a little more sentimental. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Hold on, let me like fix my settings because I'm like really laggy. Um. Hopefully, be better. Ah, that's not better. <laughs> Actually, it became like more laggy. <laughs> Hello neighbor. Yeah, that's that's the name. Yeah, this is a lot better. <laughs> I lived here the until lag. I was eleven, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. We're gonna go through the lag, but it's gonna be really pretty. <laughs> Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay. 
I don't have a mouse, so well, I had to come back since my brother Lewis's funeral. It's gonna be hard to talk when there's words in dialogue. Uh, no trespassing. I'm uh, not sure. <laughs> there is no inner will. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. I wonder where the key belongs. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Right. Uh, which way should we go? Should we go down there or should we um, go up? Which way shall we go? Okay. Well, that's my zoom. What is what is my hey? Uh, oh, this. Oh. Okay. Up. Oh, where do we go? And they're really lacking, I think. <laughs> I very much am. Uh, controls, what is it? Controls. No. Nope, still lacking all hell. Okay. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Just. Hmm. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Yay, it worked. Thank you. Yay. Deer. There goes the deer. <laughs> Okay, okay. He's the truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Okay, before 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 we go all the way back there, um we're gonna go back and go the other way. Um uh, because uh it, 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 we might have some extra extra stuff. Who knows? It's gonna lead the same way anyways, it's just different, so. Yeah, this is a lot better.
Uh, yes, this is indeed just hiking some later. Rocks. I love the music. <laughs> so good. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As Words. if they're about to say something, but never do. Hey, we got an achievement. Hey, we got an achievement now. Somebody like to play basketball. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Hey guys, it's the house from Hello Neighbor. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Welp, um, hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, mer uh death. <laughs> As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Mm -hmm. Pretty flowers. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Dum dum dum. Let's see if it opens the front door. If I remember how to do this. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh how about, let's see let's see if we can look through. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Look at all those books. Oh dear, what the heck? Hold on. Okay. Oh. Yes. Ooh, show me. <laughs> oh, yes, the house, the house is so, so, uh, how do you get out the door? <laughs> hmm, I wonder what this key would have. There's a, there's a me door. Pretty cool. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. There's a swing. The water is really nice, what the heck? There's a statue over there. 
Recycle trash. Let's go through. Let's see. Let's see if this uh, opens the door. Aha! <laughs> you figured it out. <laughs> Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Look how pretty! It's so pretty. Look at the lighting! Oh my gosh! Ah! Foreshadowing! Um... <laughs> it might be foreshadowing. Look at all this old stuff. This thing is. The power had been turned off the night we left. I'm not gonna. I've already seen playthroughs of this so many times. And it's the first person I watched. Like, I literally didn't even know what this game was. And I watched Ramya play this. <laughs> it was so sad. And I've been wanting to play it myself. I already know what I'm but <laughs> You don't, so I'm not gonna say anything. Um. <laughs> For the first time in years. The calendar. Um, January 2010. I felt like I was home. Oh my word, there is so, there is so much stuff in here. <laughs> so many books. <laughs> I can't. You can look away. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Okay, so we have Edith, Edie, Lewis, and Don. In loving memory, Lewis French, uh, December 27, 19, something, something. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, November 21st, 2003? I, I can't tell what this is. Um, 2000. Okay. Uh, to eat it. I can't read that. It's <laughs> eyeballs. Food. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Mm, Chinese sounds really good. I like it. Ah, oh, yes, apple pie. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, my cat. Meow. Yeah. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Hey, it looks like somebody was murdered here. <laughs> there's a uh, there's some uh, um cranberry juice <laughs> on, on the floor there. <laughs> it was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture.
My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, yes. Stomach. Dum dum. Look at my clothes. Ooh. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Well, um, the original house literally... Oh, that's, that is so cool. Uh, literally sank. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. This is cool. Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> the fun the thing is that it's safe. Um Yeah, houses don't usually do that. <laughs> Houses so easily sank into the ocean floor. <laughs> Books. Shall we try the straw? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Ah, uh, true, fair. Barba. <laughs> no, it did not follow Osha. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. They have sweet little melody. Dun, 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 dun. We are not trapped in the basement. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Okay, so her brothers are Milton and Lewis. Lewis is dead. Uh, Milton is missing. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, so they left. Okay. Yeah, no, none of my chatters are uh, trapped in the basement. Uh, you guys are actually trapped in rose bushes, so <laughs> and so they caught up in rose bushes. Um, so and that's where you guys stay, because that's why I call you my sweet roses. Um, <laughs> you've been you've been trapped. In, uh, I'm not sure. Well, I I do know, but <laughs> you don't. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That sounds like a FNAF book. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, I, I have your freedom. Upstairs we go. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Mm. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Hmm. I wonder why. Hmm. So 
nothing happened. <laughs> the parano the paranormal uh got to the mom real fast. Hey, this is different. I wonder why this is different. Okay, people don't. Okay, uh, we're not. I think we check around first. Yeah, something did happen. Uh, I go over here. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Okay, so this is the old couple. Uh, uh see? Seven, seven, seven? I can't say that. I'm fine. And I'm eating. <laughs> wow. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Pink bathroom, Gregory. 1976 and 1977. This is a one-year-old. <laughs> um. <laughs> Calvin. It was My one. grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh. <laughs> Gregory, how did you get there? <laughs> Gregory, we need to vent now. We need to vent in, in the pink back room. Hmm. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Ah. Until America grew out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a sad game. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Right, I guess we're not going up there anytime soon. Um. Bigfoot. Whenever people ask me about my family... The first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Ah, because the child star thing. That made sense. Yeah. That's this way, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Molly! Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Uh, mm. Well, uh, she was uh, 10 years old. Um, her door is really adorable. Little mouse. Little mouse. Right, are we... I've, I've saved this one for last because it's an open door, so... Are we ready to go through the open door? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Uncle Walter. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This is such a cool looking room. I mean, well. The walls are cool looking. The uh, room, not so much. It's very empty. <laughs> Look at the shards. Ah. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. 
Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Twenty thousand things. Turns are out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Mm -hmm. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Inside we go. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Uh, shaft. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. We're in the room, duh duh. <laughs> Molly. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah, it's very much so. This room is so cool. Oh. Girl had, girl life animals, I guess. And we have this, um, <laughs> shall we read a book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here yeah. before my mom sealed the doors. Picture, think of the picture. Yeah. Okay. Should I just read the picture? Uh. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh, reading. Michelle becomes special. I woke up and I was Time starving. Time travel. So I looked around for something to eat. Um, we have uh, created time travel. <laughs> we have went back to the past, and we are now Molly. Yeah, the place is so young. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, and we can eat. Let's see, let's see the hell we can. My Halloween candy was all gone. Well, there's uh, no Halloween candy to eat. Um. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. No. We're not gonna go to sleep. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. What the heck? 
Um, girls should not be eating dried gerbil food. Um. Hmm. <laughs> to the bathroom we go. This is a really small bathroom. I kept eating and eating. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to eat a whole tube of toothpaste. Um. Yeah, so that just happened. I ate a lot of things that night. You're also not supposed to uh, eat eat fake uh, berry berry berries. Uh. <laughs> This went dark real fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Ah. Hold on. Ooh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. No, not the fish. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh. Oh, look at the pretty bird. Hello. Getting I reached out for her. <laughs> <laughs> this is where things get weird. And suddenly... <laughs> um... <laughs> I was a cat. Yep. We 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 are a cat now. Uh Yo. Okay, she. What do I what? We're gonna eat the bird, guys. <laughs> We're gonna eat the bird. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Uh, right there. Ugh. It's Christmas time. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that was such a big jump. Okay. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Meow! Look at me! Meow, I'm a cat. <laughs> Meow. got you. <laughs> Whoa. You're going really high, guys. Um, I jumped and I almost got her.
Her core. I could tell she was oh. getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. Hmm. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Hmm. I wonder what will happen. I gobbled her up. Well, oh dear. Well, <laughs> we went spot, guy. And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, what the heck? Okay. First, Ooh. all I heard was the wind. Whoa. Then I heard okay, little teeth nibbling in the grass. We are in the air now. Rabbits. Huh? I saw no rabbits. Rabbits, hello. Oh. I got one. Haha. <laughs> I imagined his face Mommy. looking up and seeing mine through my tongue. It's a really strange kind I of dream. swallowed him up and I didn't <laughs> chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. <laughs> yes, the rabbits are the prince we need. A mama rabbit! Whoa, uh, where? Here we go. Uh, I'm... There we go. <laughs> she was almost too big to carry. I'm a master at being I an owl. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And nope. suddenly, oh, I was oh. a shark. What the? We're a shark now, I guess. Into the ocean we go. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. Ooh, okay. We're a shark now, guys. <laughs> oh, there is a seal. Shall we turn no. Shall we eat the seal? I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. I must search for the seal. There it is. Nope, I. It's very much off. I grabbed on tight, but I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> when I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Welp, I think we're a sea creature, guys. Ooh. Let's go this way. This gameplay is really weird. Mm. 
you're the Kraken now, I guess. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Oh. Underneath the car to go. <laughs> oh, there is a person. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Ooh. Hey guys, check this one out. Hey guys, check this one out. <laughs> it got him good. <laughs> I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. To the door. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? No one's a little bit drunk. His <laughs> belly with a rusty razor, his belly with a rusty razor, his belly with a rusty razor. Sailor, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? Lies in the morning. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Let's get him, guys. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Ooh. I have no more songs. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Mm. Yeah, I think we're, uh, what are we now? We're a snake, guys, I think. We got one of the crew. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went yeah, into an old dead. pipe. Not to pull up the snake. Which of the pipes do we go? I wonder where we are. I got closer and closer. Hey, 
you guys, we're back home. We're in a whole new world. Inside this girl's bedroom. All my stomach started growling. Well, huh? Wait till need some exercise. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Right, so that was uh, terrifying. <laughs> I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Chocolate time. I have snacks. Hmm. Oh? That? Hello? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Hmm. That makes sense. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Hmm. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. <laughs> My mom was furious. A mole man? I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Ah. 72-year-old woman refused to evacuate because of a metal forest fire. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Yes, she, she could have, but she didn't. That is what we saw at the beginning. <laughs> Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son. Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house 
hoping to leave the curse behind. Hmm, curse. <laughs> but 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Well, there's the house, guys. <laughs> A wonderful house that has um is in the ocean <laughs> Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Mm. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. I learned a family tree. Until the bathroom we go. Hey, this is where Gregory died. <laughs> this is Gregory on there, so. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Mm. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, yeah, but I can see, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, because of the, because of the, um, I think it's Gregory's, um, name thing was, um, people was put this bathroom so it, I'm it kind of obvious like Mo Molly like died in her room there's a secret in this bathroom oh it's in the last place you would look oh. it isn't in the cupboard it's hidden in this book hey yo Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Hey, Jab, you ready for another story? <laughs> How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. Hey, remember? 
remember the swing set? <laughs> You have? Oh no, well then. <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. So you know how this ends, or no? I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. This. I told him going around was impossible. Uh. Maybe if I hadn't said that. <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> I'm really not going to tell you again. Or maybe if the yeah. wind hadn't picked up. This one. This one, see. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. See if I can get the moment <laughs> here. Swing, it's
do I do this? I'm doing it. Why is it so difficult?
can't <laughs> see it relaxing. Nothing is happening. He's I would have hugged or Get it, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
it. I mean, usually just look it up. But I have to like swing, I just have to swing my card like long enough.
is so hard to do. I'm pressing my W and S key. <laughs> Simon Sanders. <laughs> Jeb, could you like look it up for me, please? I can't really look it up myself. I am pressing my W and like S key for, for the legs. That's all I can press. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he, he did. did it. Yay! After like 20 minutes. Oh. Um.
Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. It was really, it was so hard. I had to like, like, like an actual swing do it. Oh, <laughs> do a W and S, and it's so annoying. Because I had to like time that. <laughs> After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Mm -hmm. Whoa. This is pretty. Also, hello, Ash. And whoever else may be in chat watching. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Ash, have you ever seen this game before? Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I saw the nice ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. I mean, she's not happy now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. And this is literally my favorite game. But in a lucky so, break, she'd been asked like to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island nope. tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. 
Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. It's the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Hey, a secret key. <laughs> scratch and imagine the worst. <laughs> A puppet. <laughs> leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. The old fridge rattled and grew still. just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting <laughs> from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out. But well, she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late Picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I hope that's, um. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but okay. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. There goes the roller skate. Walter's full finish room. Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Barbara turned, saw the hook man, and <gasps> was speechless. Oh, well, no he was quite smashing. And whoever he was, he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. That night, she played her part beautifully. Molly's door hadn't been opened oh, yeah, in she years. Lives. The hinges groaned. Oh no, the hook man! Well, he's dead he now. He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over hey, yet. <gasps> oh 
Oh no, he's gone. Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh. Oh dear. This is one of the creepiest ones. <laughs> Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. Monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. Mm, that's terrifying. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Hmm. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. Yeah. But that's story. another story. As for mm. Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Mm, I don't like that part. Now that's what I call a real ear. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Well, do you know where we're gonna go next? The music box. To the music box. Key. Yep, yep, the box with the ear. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's playing now. The puppet will be fine. Um, <laughs> My thought for that was Barbara, like, like, uh, um, uh, hit, like, uh, fell, like, fell on the roller skate, and, like, was the one, the smash on the, on the, like, uh, like, glass, and that's how she died. Because that just makes the most sense with that story. Hey, we're in the basement. Now it's actually real. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot.
I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Hey guys, welcome to the basement. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. She, that is such a long time, Walter. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. This is nice, guys. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts mm -hmm. to feel normal. Almost friendly. I'm sure. And then one day, days. everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Let's go. No, no. <laughs> No, I apparently don't know how to do this. <laughs> there you go. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Oh boy, Whatever's train out there, I want you to know. I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. No! <laughs> No, 
Walter. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. She looks really... Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Yeah, but if she never it. told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made, trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Well, we know she's writing, so she she's writing all of this as as she's doing it. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. No, don't say that. Please don't say that. But I thought you should know about your family. and the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Yes, Jeb probably is very lost. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. When you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Somebody had pets? Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Yeah. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Where should the house be?
Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Yep. Let's go. That's part of the house. The add-ons. <laughs> but looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. So she's going, uh, she's pregnant. Her character here, um, is pregnant. Yeah, it is kind of like a trio. Huh? <laughs> There's that review. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Sam's Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, today. <laughs> I turned the kid will be fine. <laughs> Look at these great photos. <laughs> Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Dawn! What? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. Well, this is Sam's uh, little memorial thing. Uh, Don's her mom. And Carriage's mom, so. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though.
definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Yeah, it's really calming. If some of these are really calming, then they just take a drink. Let's see. Here. Maybe. It could have been Eyes, Don. I found it. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Survive. You'll need to be strong. Good job. Great shot, Don. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, Don, don't cry. Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Ow! I need the wrong button. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad! No. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Sam. It's in peace, Sam. And there's a picture of him falling to his death. <laughs> of 
all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Yep. Now, how do we move on? After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Uh, more kids. Gregory, Don, and Gus. I the, uh, the shark. I don't. I don't think that would make that would make no sense. This one's so sad. Mm. This is a baby. Look at the smiling baby. Look at the smiling baby. I mean, it is a kid, but it's a picture of the kid. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm literally already tearing up. <laughs> Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Gregory, it's time Help. to... Hold on, sweetie. Mm. Hi, Kay. Hi, Hello? Kay. <laughs> I'm gonna continue Sam, with the... I told the... you I don't want to talk right now. The toys. Mom. I wonder what he saw. He saw. Stuff. 
Um. <laughs> oh no. no. No, no, we're good. Frog stuff. Frog stuff. Sure made him happy. Silly it sounds. But I worried about a baby being too happy. But I could feel him slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. Oh. I know oh, you did everything you could. But uh... maybe if I hadn't called that night. I don't want Gregory to hear this. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. Hey, there's so much I don't understand about Gregory. We are now frog. <laughs> about everything. Sam. Okay, we got Gus, John, Milton, Lewis, and Edie left. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and mm -hmm. yet. Underwater adventure rules. Uh, here's guys. Look at him. <laughs> a poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Woo. Kite time. 
My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Oh, this is it, guys. This is um, Dawn writing the letter. I tried to talk him out of it, but okay. though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom were the words that I remember. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. There is a middle finger, guy. <laughs> the wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Hey guys, just let you know I'm not a I'm not I'm not a friendly friendly user channel. <laughs> the thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but... Mom told me once, if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. I believe you can swear. Um, I don't know about my settings. I believe you can, maybe. I don't know. For the comments, at least. But, but, <laughs> swearing for my content is fine. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Good for her. Lewis was born a year later.
When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal. But it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. My business school room. Castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. this room would be in? Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. I was four when Milton disappeared. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room, until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. 
that part of him lived on. Oh, yes. Drugs. <laughs> Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Multitasking, yay. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss.
but he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. I want it to say focus. <laughs> like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds even the stones under his feet all in his imagination so he could do whatever he wished he held an election for mayor and he won They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Conquer a city, then immediately push on.
New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. I'm so sorry, Mata. Minneapolis. until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh no. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Mm. Handsome queen. The Queen was on her own quest for... Sinister serpents. He followed the sound of her. Silver heart. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Um, 
this is gonna be ten times more difficult. Oh. And I can't see things. No, don't go that way. Go that that way. Oh, my game broke. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than yeah, a king. Yeah, this is literally just a memory. It's a memory game into a multitasking, like. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Yay, no more fish. Also, hold on. If I click to so. Okay, anyways. <laughs> See, I can't see my cursor, so it made this very hard. He began to forget the world we know. I think Fish. it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Hello, Lewis. He's a bit losing himself. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Hmm. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. How nice. The palace would be packed with his companions. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising him. Molly! Molly, I love you, Molly! His queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. Hey guys, you know what that is? Bend down his head. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. <laughs> Himself. Pretty sure he put his head in the you know what carry thing. My brother was really cool. 
I wish you could have met him. We're almost done, I think. <laughs> yes, it was. Nope. I don't want to go back at. <laughs> oh, I guess. Nope, nope. Actually, we are going to go back in. Hold on. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Two more. I wish we'd stayed. Hold on. But I understand why we left. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. There we go. It's time. It's time check. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance, or that Edie had a key to it. Small child. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. 
Okay. I'm sorry the picture is quite eating but Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Almost that sunny. night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Frog. I got turned around. I started seeing things. Dear. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip Friends. it! Let go! Don't... I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car, and I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Bye. Goodbye. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Oh, no. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. No. You did this for us. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Baby, we eat the baby. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it.
Okay. I just want to meet you mm. and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, no, she's already gone. She's already dead. Things didn't work out that way. The womb. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. And that's it. That's the game. I'm so glad I finally got to play this. It was my favorite game. And I I am so glad I played. Chad, if I help you and anyone else who never seen this game before, uh enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the stream. And then we'll, we'll um, be back streaming uh, on Thursday with Minecraft Hardcore. So, yay! Uh, yeah, it's really, really sad. So, I I hope you enjoyed the game and stuff. The, the Minecraft hardcore world, it, it's just gonna be a solo. I'm probably gonna die, and then I'm gonna switch to that. Yeah, this is a really, really good game for anyone, so. It's like, if you don't want a scary game or a uh, high fantasy, I say watch or play this game because it is really, it's really sad, but it's also like really calm because it's done. And it kind of, like, if you're having a hard time or something, it's like, go, go watch somebody play this because, uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I, I have to go now, so. See you guys again on Thursday. Alright, we're gonna, gonna wait for the credits to end though. <laughs> Cause I can't end stream if the credits are going. <laughs> and I'm not gonna pause it. <laughs> so. Thursday job, enjoy the browse. Uh, wants to see it. Watch, watch, um.
but we're just gonna end stream because I gotta go do something. I gotta go somewhere. So, uh, hope everyone enjoyed this. And, um, yeah. There's yep, the end. This is the end. End of stream. Yep. Uh, bye everyone!